What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. Let me show you guys what I'm working on today. Yup, can you tell what it is? It's Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Here's the design. Oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to another story time with Metal Matt. What story you guys want to hear? Tell me about your artwork and when did you do it and uh, what motivated you to create it? All, uh, all the paintings, mostly these ones happened during COVID because uh, we all thought that we were going to be able to open back up again pretty quick. And then uh, we all know that that didn't happen. Uh, so we had endless amounts of time to figure out something to do to keep ourselves busy. So I started uh, painting and like drawing designs because I had just finished up um, like the, uh, the preliminary apprenticeship, right? You're about to let us tattoo. I was ready to go, had the fake skin, ready for some free tats. And then uh, we got closed down. And so um, I figured like, if you got time, right? Idle hands are a bad thing to have. So I started uh, studying a little bit more like Japanese styles to see the, uh, the history of where our, our style came from. And then, uh, you know, the only way to practice if you ain't got skin, you just pretend like paper is the skin and skin is the paper. Does it make a difference anymore? I think feel like paper and skin is pretty much the same because it's the art you're applying to whatever surface, right? Yeah, I think uh, they become one in the same, but you gotta be comfortable with both before it happens. But I like, uh, the nice thing about paper is that you can test stuff out. And so you could see like background tones, that kind of thing. Cause I would have my ink caps set up the same way that I have them set up for tattooing. And then uh, you can play with different like combinations of like dark and light. So, which is pretty nice, but it's good for practicing like different techniques to see what you can do to like elevate your tattoo. You are two years ago and you are now, what do you feel what changed? Um, simple man, just keep it simple. Tattoos are meant to be big and bold. You can see that from, you know, a mile away, somebody's walking across the street. You can tell it's a big old dragon. You don't need every single little tiny detail in there to get like all the textures and that kind of stuff. It's cool and it's it's nice to have while, you know, somebody's looking at it up close, but in 10 years, 15 years, you just want to make sure it still looks like a big, dope dragon with good contrast, you know what I mean? Any advice for a new artist watching this channel? Look at other people's work, try to emulate that work to figure out what they're doing that makes their pieces look so good. And then once you're done with that, do it again, and then do it again, and then do it again. And you're basically just doing it again for the rest of your life. You're gonna fuck up, but that's okay. <laughs> Boo's in the house. What's up, y'all? All right, Boo. What's the difference two years ago and now? The, the art you do, what have changed? You know, definitely you're your biggest critic. And so every time I finish a piece, it's always going to be the dopest thing I've ever done. You know, a week down the line, you're going to look at it, you're going to see how you can improve because, you know, as an artist, as a person in general, you start to like pick up other cues. I'm like, oh, I really like how this guy did this. I really like how this came about. Uh, maybe I could put more contrast here. And you just evolve from it. I think the difference between two years ago, me and two, like me now, is uh, my ears are a lot more open now. I used to think that I was accepting to a lot of things, but I think once you kind of accept that like the world is such a, a big place for you to learn a lot of stuff, um, that's what's really helped me, especially in everything in life. You know, what I do with motorcycles, with cars, it all relates to like what I do at, at the tattoo shop um, and then also with family, you know? What? The boo two years ago didn't have that <laughs> fucking house bow. This guy. Definitely. This guy. The, the boo two years ago only had a, a paper boat. That's why I got a paper boat on me. It's oh, a, it is a paper boat. Yeah, it's a paper boat, paper crane, and a paper plane. Oh. And uh, if you guys watched my um, in depth video on uh, the meanings of my tattoos, you guys will know what that means. It's on my Instagram page. But quick, quick thing paper boat and paper plane. 
These are the only two things you had playing with when you were a kid. So, you know, it's a reminder to stay humble. Even though you get a lot of stuff in life, just stay humble. Paper crane, you always need one paper crane uh, to get your thousand paper cranes to make a wish. So, What's up, man? carry it with you. Always carry your own luck. You, uh... Dude, that's sick, man. Hey, hey, get over here. All right, guys, we got Alex. He's gonna give us uh, information about Scorpion. Scorpion is a character from the Mortal Kombat video game series. His real name is Hanso Hasashi, and he is a skilled ninja with abilities related to fire and hellfire. He is known for his iconic spear attack. Get over here. Damn. He has a personal vendetta against Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero, what'd you do, man? That's it. How sad you are. I'm very sad, because uh, my car doesn't work. <laughs> I can't get to work without my car. So yeah, I'm sad. I just want to thank you all for watching today's vlog. If you find us interesting, please subscribe or give us a like. Thank you. See you later.